everyone, it's Brett here with the Tuning School, and welcome to another episode of Tech Support Tuesdays. On this episode, we're going to be taking a look at a Dodge ticket. Um, I had a customer reach out to us, submitted a ticket, and he said, looking at the table that I got, the part throttle spark table, uh, and it appears uh, that it is an air charge versus RPM, and uh, mine is in math versus RPM. And he said, I don't know if this is correct. Plus, it looks to me like the table is way off from where it should be. And so this is something that I deal with um, Dodge guys pretty frequently on. Um, and it is a common problem. And so if you go and you open up his tune file, um, you will find um, is that he is correct. His uh, table is set up a little bit differently than how our course would explain. So if we go to Spark and we go to Part Throttle Base, you'll notice that his uh, row axes, as it would be called in HP Tuners, is in manifold absolute pressure. Now, um, this particular car is a little bit older. You notice here it's an NGC4 uh, uh, ECU, uh, like you see here. And if I was to go to here, you see it's a 2007 Chrysler. Now, the reality is that our book was primarily written on a GPEC 2A ECU. It was primarily developed around a 2015 Charger. That was the bulk of the writing process that happened. And you notice that he's correct. So what he would see in the book is examples given from a GPEC to a computer um, from that 2015 charger, and they are in fact an air charge. Um, however, there's a really simple solution to this. It doesn't matter what you're tuning, um, whether it's um, a Ford, uh, Chevy, Dodge, even standalone ECUs, all Spark tables are exactly the same. They're gonna be based on two things. They're based on RPM and load. Now there's many different forms of measurement for load, um, manifold absolute pressure is one. Air charge here is another one. And if you look at some of the GM stuff, it's what we call pressure ratio. GM stuff is also going to use cylinder air mass. Um, Fords, just straight up call it load. Um, but what you're going to find is even though the units of measurement are different, they're going to almost mirror each other. And so what I mean by that is 50 kPa would be the exact same thing as 0.5 load. So it would be roughly in this zone here. Um, you're dealing with the same exact thing. If you were to scan his car um, and you were to look at air charge and you also were to look at manifold absolute pressure, you'll notice they'll coincide pretty much directly. Um, and so while the course has you reference specific air charge areas, all you have to do is just in your head convert that over. And really all it is is just moving this decimal point. If you move this decimal point over two, you're looking at the same manifold absolute pressure um, as the air charge says it is here. So if the book says it wants you to modify from 0.68 and higher, uh, then you would go over to your manifold absolute pressure and you want to grab from roughly 68 kPa and higher. It's the same exact concept. So this gets a lot of the uh, a lot of our Dodge customers hung up. Um, they reach out to us and they have questions because they're like, hey, this doesn't match. I don't know what to do, but it's a simple uh, matter of load is going to be pretty much always the same. It just matters where that decimal falls. But for the most part, they're going to directly correlate to each other. So hopefully that makes sense and it helps you when you go to tune your spark tables.